Good morning guys from Beirut, Lebanon. Today we're going to go check out amazing archaeological site temples built by the Phoenicians and the Romans. It's one of the top day trips in Lebanon. I've seen photos of them. Can't wait to see them in person and of course they're gonna get to see them too. Welcome to Baalbek. That van ride took about two hours and 20 minutes, not including the taxi ride that'll take you to where the van starts. Uh, the cost for the van was 100,000, which turns out to be about three bucks. And uh, I'm still on the side of the highway, but I had to come and check out this view. Incredible. So we still have to walk up a few minutes up the road to get to the entrance of this place. Uh, there's several of these ruin looking things, uh, but man, so far this looks pretty spectacular and we're not even there yet. So let's walk on up and uh, find the entrance to this. All right, guys, we are in for the price of 15,000, which at this rate, today's rate, it's like only 50 cents. I must say the first impressions are, that's something. Plus, the smell from these jasmines is a nice touch. Man, this place is crazy. And I think it gets more impressive than this. I mean, I actually, know it gets more impressive than this but wow look at this place so far already worth the admission <laughs> all right let's go check the rest of this place out okay at the top of the stairs wow the scale of these things Here's some info. Hexagonal court, I guess, is in front of us. We'll go check it out. The scale, enormous. Oh, these are beautiful. Wow. It's huge. How big were these people? So, I read a little bit for you guys. <laughs> the Phoenicians were actually from 2500 to 3000 BC. So we're talking many years ago. And this area of the world, which is the eastern part of the Mediterranean Sea, which is where Lebanon is at, was essentially their main spot. And they had trade routes from here, but we are in where the Phoenicians were. Like this was their place and uh, so yeah after that the Romans also built some things here I'm not sure which was Roman which was Phoenician but I just cannot believe I mean, look at the size of one rock it's like the size of a truck and then those are huge how in the world I don't know how they move these things yeah that's just for fun this is as tall as I am and it's a huge rock wow insane columns very cool Well, I know these are falling down, but at least because they're falling down, we can certainly appreciate the amount of detail that goes into these. If these are way up where they used to be, we couldn't get to see them. And this is like a lot of detail. There's inclu including, it's actually like 3D. They've carved out behind the rocks even. Oh, these guys are <laughs> making noise. Oh, we have the police here. Uh oh, these police from New York City. This police. police. And he's from. We have police from New York here in Baalbek. Hi, how are you? <laughs> it's 
So we can't we can't do anything wrong. The police will catch us. <laughs> Wow. All right, let's keep checking this place out. Have the end? No. We're, we're <laughs> making new friends. Good? Nice to meet you. Shukran. Me too. I love you. I love you. Shukran. Bye bye. So much fun. Okay. I'm going to have to walk through this again because. Damn. Okay, so one moment. Wow. I mean, holy mackerel. Wow. We just walked through there. No joke, it's sunny in here, so I have to bring out the good old hat. And let's continue the tour of this insane place. Wow. Wow, the scale is so grand. And I can't wait to get closer to that giant thing. Wow, let's get to the corner here and see if we can get a good view diagonally. Wow. They said this was impressive the people I met and they are not kidding wow all right here we go I can only imagine how beautiful this place must have been when it was like in prime condition the decorations are insane and here let me show you some of the different rocks here because uh, like for example this one's like pink and purple and black that one's more like tan. That one's just like skin tone. Uh, and they use them in different ways. Ah, here's some intact, well, <laughs> intact, partially intact columns. And uh, it's different colors, like the base, bottom, bottom is different. To this, this actually looks more like marble. I guess maybe this is all marble. And then you've got this color. And that's how tall they are. And with the beautiful decorations up top, which we get to enjoy, because some of them have fallen down. Man, this is gorgeous. Jeez. Very nice. Okay, let me show you the other side. Make sure you bring a wide angle lens because it's the only way you can take it all in. <laughs> it's so cool. Still, I, I don't know how they did these things thousands of years ago. It's so remarkable. It's beautiful. Let's uh, make our way up the stairs and uh, closer to something that looks possibly more spectacular than what we've already seen. I'm actually a bit surprised about the size of the stairs here. They seem very similar to the stairs we use in these days. A lot of times you go to old historical places and the size of the steps are like so much bigger. But these are quite normal. Oh my god, you can see the mountains. Wow. From here we can kind of get an idea of the scale of this. So you can see, when we're walking here, we're actually not on the ground level. It goes way down there. And I don't even know how tall this thing is. It's enormous. And uh, speaking of enormous... <laughs> what? Oh, I just don't get it. How in the world do they do this? And at the very top, there's tons of decorations. Let me show you, like, right there. Hopefully I can show you more clear pictures, more close-up pictures. I don't know where everybody else is on this gorgeous day, but hey, you know, 
private visitation. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm spotting a few people behind me. They're tiny, but perhaps you can see them as a measure of just how enormous that structure is. And uh, this is mind blowing. Wow, time for some pictures. I know I keep saying this, but the scales are so huge. The only way I can capture them for you is with wide angle. <laughs> uh, this was a good view though. I got some cool pictures I think from here. You can see this giant thing <laughs> and uh, that beautiful building behind it. This whole place is surrounded by beautiful mountains. They're in the distance, but man, what a nice location. Apparently the land here is actually quite fertile as well. So I guess that makes sense why somebody would want to build an empire here maybe. Really nice. I'll get you a closer view of those beautiful mountains. The rocks down here. Each one's the size of like two trucks stacked up on each other. How in the world can they possibly move these things? I mean, I, I think these are even bigger than like the pieces that you build a pyramid with. I mean, those are huge, but these are just enormous. It's mind boggling. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. <laughs> the scale is just mind, mind, mind blowing, really. I met another American. He's out there in the distance. He's from Chicago, where I grew up. Fun, so. We helped take some photos of each other. Hopefully they came out good. <laughs> All right, onwards we go. I think I found the money shot, guys. Wait for it. Have I mentioned how impressive the scale of the things are here? <laughs> so this is, it looks to be one piece of rock with beautiful design decorations on it. It's a mixture at the same time of giant pieces, yet delicate little designs. And uh, a second thought on these little stairs. Now I'm beginning to wonder, I think these are more modern. Maybe not like, you know, 10 years old or 20 or 50 or whatever, but maybe not three, 4,000 years old or whatever. The size of the columns, wow. And look at how smooth the lines are. How like, wow, this is so incredible. Look at how accurate this is. How? Let's look at the second one. I mean, it's insane. It's perfect. Unbelievable. I am blown away. Seriously. More beautiful designs. Fifty cent admission, worth every penny. Absolutely mind blowing. Wow. I want to take Kitty home. Wonder if I can take him home. All right, it's time to get around this building. Building. <laughs> and uh, I think we get to get in. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, this is probably the best part. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> I mean, what the heck? Oh my God. Wow. 
Incredible. I see how this works. They've set up the route where they save the best for last. And wow. So walking in the main courtyard now, there's an opening. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know where this goes because I saw this from downstairs. Hello. <laughs> wow, look at this view. Pro tip, bring a hat, bring a water, which I didn't, but then I had to go buy some. <laughs> Maybe sunglasses if you like. Wow, it's gorgeous. Even the underside of that has intricate details. I wonder if I can zoom in and show you. Let's give it a shot. Maybe I'm uh, dehydrated and hallucinating, but can you see the smiley face here? Eye, eye, nose, and a big old smile. Am I right? Am I right? Oop. Almost died. Oh, someone's getting married here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow is all I've got to say about this place. Well worth the 50 cent entry fee. <laughs> Incredible, fun. Did you know uh, that cool the rate fun. actually went, went up like the last few days? Yeah, it went to like 30,000. 31, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was 15,000, right? So that's. Yeah, no, I mean 50 cents. Cent. Yeah. But I mean, okay. it's now even cheaper yeah. than when, when you arrived. Yeah, like yeah. When I arrived, it was at 26. Mm -hmm. It went from. <laughs> yeah, 20. Like at 20%, that's yeah. ridiculous. In, in like a couple of days. Okay, we're locked in. We can't go. No, we're stuck. We're okay. imprisoned. All right, this was incredible. We're going to move on. We have just entered the main street in Baalbek in search of Baalbeki Spiha which is like a little round pizza looking thing I don't know been wanting to try it since I came to Lebanon and uh, I asked this gentleman who was sitting and chatting with his friend and he's been now walking with us for a whole block just to find some Spiha very nice guy What do you know? This looks promising. Oh. Oh. Check it out, check it out. Wow, this is cool. They're tiny. Still trying to find out what the cost is. Ignacio, who I met in Beirut, is uh, ordering six. I'll let him try them, and then I'll order some. They smell really good. I mean, you know, fresh made. All right, our first spia. Look at the size of this thing. It's tiny. They're good. It's, 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 they're good, huh? Ignacio gives it a thumbs up. Ooh, it's hot. Oh wow. Mm. Wow, it's like a mini kebab on a pastry. Like a tiny pizza. Wow. Wow, it's really good. Mm. The shape reminds me of a uh, Chachapuri from from Georgia. Like a mini Chachapuri. Mm. Friends, no lie, these are really good. And uh, really nice when you squeeze some lemon or lime on them too, which I already did on this one. So we ordered six first. Now we ordered ten more. So it'll be like you know eight each. 
they are pumping these things out like a machine. They're putting like 20, 30, 40 in each box and they just keep coming more out, more. Definitely seems to be a good spot. Seriously, the taste is fantastic. Thank you so much. Super delicious. How much is it? Sviha. Sviha in yes. Baalbek. Super good. Now we're trying to pay. <laughs> ah, okay. Bye bye. Great. So we had 12 plus 6, 18 of them. And he charged us 80. And 80 is like not even three bucks. And that was actually pretty much a small meal. Very good. Now, um, maybe we'll find the sweet shop that's famous here. Oh, there's a good market. Yeah, let's go through this market. Certain restricted area. You see that? I think we found the sweet shop. <laughs> This looks good. Typical. Balbec. Typical. Hello. Is this? Uh, this looks like Kenefe. Osmalia. Osmalia. Which one's good? Which one? <laughs> Kola. Everything's good. Kola means everything. Everything's good. Um, what did you just order? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't know what he wants. He just wants something. And uh, the prices are clearly written here. <laughs> if you can read Arabic. But, uh, oh wow, they have a whole menu of things. Which again, if you read Arabic. I think it's my turn. Can I have uh, Namura Belashta? Namura Belashta. Namura Belashta. Can I have one? One. Okay. Cool. Nafa. Nafa, yes. But I want this one. Oh, he will get it? Okay. No, I want. <laughs> Oh, that's Ashta. It's cream. Cool. Okay. One. One. Namura Ashta. I think she just thought I was asking what it was, but now I think she realized I actually want to eat one. Oh, she's making it. And so we wait. Hello. I'm not from Balbek. You're not? No. Where are you from? Del Ahmar. Del Ahmar, where is that? Somewhere in Balbek. <laughs> yes, next to Balbek. So you're just visiting? Yes. Oh. I'm just taking some sweets. Are this one? So good. <laughs> Which one's good? That's what I was trying to. Yeah. Well, it's good. <laughs> You've been to Balbek before? Yes. Oh, okay. My village is uh, next to here. Oh, okay. What's 10 your... minutes. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is what we ordered. Yeah, I'm Namura Bashta. Namura Bashta. Great. What's your name? Elisa. Elisa. My name is Roman. This is Ignacio. Where are you from? USA? And? Chile. Chile? Wow. Chile. Cool. I'm from Lebanon. I wish I can go to USA. I'm going to do my master's, but I can't. Maybe. All right, let's give this a try. Close up. Nice to meet you too. All right, here we go. Mm, mm. The sweet and the cream is creamy. I mean, it's just cream. I think we It reminds me of a canepe, which they also do here in Lebanon. But that cream is cold. It's so good. Wow. Oh, they're they're busy. I was gonna tell them how pleased I was. But they're just working away. Mm. Wow. Very 
you're talking about good decisions. Super handles what the pressure is on the field. Super. But the top of your video will suck. All right, let's eat this up. <laughs> wow, it's really good. Mm. Did you like it? It's incredible. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, I'm going to finish it. Now we're walking through the streets of Baalbek, headed to uh, find a bus back or a van back. And uh, I must say, it's been a pleasant surprise. The uh, ruins were much more impressive than I had even anticipated. The cute micro pizzas called Sfijas were much better than I had anticipated. And uh, the sweets, which I already forgot the name of, was much better than I had, I had anticipated. So now we head back and find a van. Three hours back to Beirut. It's not, it's not like, I don't know, like Turkey? Yeah, well, Turkey is tea culture. Hello. Oh, this is a nice view. Wow. You get the mountain in the background. You get the flag. Blue ass sky. Very nice. Now we just got to not get killed by the cars. <laughs> Baalbek, yeah, three hours away from Beirut, but definitely worth the three bucks to get here and the three bucks to get back. Oh, beautiful. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. Yes, good, thank you. you. USA. USA, you will come. Thank are you. Are you going to Beirut? Yes, of course. You're going to, he's you going to, to Beirut. Beirut. Yes. How much is it? If you please. How much is it? 1,020. 1,000? 100. 100. 100. Million. Trillion. Alright guys, we made it back to Beirut. All in all, definitely recommend you must go to Baalbek on a day trip whenever you come to Lebanon. Go visit the site, eat the little pizza looking things called Sfiha and uh, check out the sweet shop super nice people i had a fantastic day hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you liked it please give it a thumbs up it really helps out a lot and i'll see you guys on the next one